Regenerating health. The double jump. That feeling of pure anger you get when playing League of Legends. There are just some game mechanics which are deeply embedded in the industry. In fact, one of the main driving forces behind gaming at present is finding the next big mechanic which will reshape the playing field. Many try, many fail, but there are also some mechanics that are really brilliant and yet for some reason or another never truly take off. Well, let's go remind ourselves about some of these moments which change the way that we play. With this in mind, I'm Jules of WhatCulture.com. Hello, hello, hello. And these are eight brilliant video game mechanics which are criminally underused. Number eight, grappling hooks, just cause. Now this might seem a little out there, but a lot of games could benefit from the use of a grappling hook. It's just one of the most fun ways to get around in a game. You need only look so far as Just Cause to see that it makes travelling in vast open worlds an absolute blast. Even in games that aren't open world, grappling hooks can make everything better. Take Uncharted for example. The fighting mechanics in the series were pretty well developed by Uncharted 2 and were perfected, some would say, in Uncharted 3. However, Uncharted 4's introduction of the grapple hook shook it up in a way that no one expected. Grappling hooks as a mechanic can make movement in a game fun. And when you've got such large masses to cover, who the hell is going to want to walk there? A f***ing mug, that's who. Number 7. Limb Targeting. Dead Space. Shooting mechanics are as inherent to games as the ability to jump. I mean, who doesn't love shooting aliens and Nazis and pretending that they're their dads who told them to go to bed without supper? I'll show you, father! But you know what? They've not really evolved much outside of headshots occasionally doing double damage. But in games like Dead Space and MGS2, you could shoot limbs and see different results than just plugging away at center mass. If you add to that limbs that can be blown off, you have shooting mechanics that actually feel worth exploring. This would not only make games feel more immersive, but also more tactical, rewarding players who shoot enemies in the hands to disarm them and in the balls because, I mean, that's just funny! Number 6. Building your own level. Super Mario Maker. Level creators sometimes get a bit of a bad rap, often appearing as lazy excuses to pad out a game's runtime as a means for the developer to proclaim their games have endless content. However, the problem with level creators isn't the idea itself, but rather the implementation. Whilst games like Far Cry 3 and the LEGO franchise might be considered rather pitiful, games like Super Mario Maker and Little Big Planet prove that level creators can excel if done correctly. With a little effort, level creators can transform games into endless amounts of fun. Hell, in Super Mario Maker's case, it's the game's entire premise and that game's had me f***ing raging for months. Number 5. Physics and Object Manipulating Weapons – Half-Life 2 The gravity gun in Half-Life 2 is like Tiny Peter wielding a machete. A weapon and a half. Not only did it afford for brilliantly hilarious moments in combat, but it exercised one of the best physics engines gaming had ever seen. Puzzles and killing with physics sign me the chuff up. The mechanic has only pretty much been used in Half-Life 2 and will never likely be seen again within the same franchise. So it's up to other developers to take the mechanic and run with it. It's such a simple and ingenious idea that it could be used to great effect if developers took their time with it. And it's just so much fun to launch giant saws at headcrabs and watch the majesty of Half-Life 2's physics engine work. God bless you, Valve. Now go make more. Number 4. New Game Plus that actually adds something significant – Dark Souls 2 Whilst New Game Plus is slowly becoming more prevalent, it's still not being used in the way it should be. And you know what? For all of its flaws, Dark Souls 2, you know, the game where all the enemies pivot, 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 Still shuddering about that one. It did certain things right, namely New Game Plus. Whereas most titles simply add New Game Plus and then up the difficulty, Dark Souls 2 switched things up and started messing around with new, tougher enemies. Playing the game felt completely different with new groupings as well as higher damage and health on all of them. On top of that, new items and rings appear, with bosses even dropping new stuff. Merchants have different items and even bosses can change with additional enemies. This mechanic essentially doubles playtime, and whilst New Game Plus is picking up in traction, hopefully more games will follow in Dark Souls 2's direction. Number 3. Destructible Environments Now I know that many of you will point out that a lot of games have some form of destruction available for those willing to shoot everything other than the enemies, but developers still aren't doing nearly enough with it. For all its flaws, Mercenaries 2 may be the best use of destructible environments going, as no game has even come close. Every single building can be torn down, meaning that you can actually destroy the entire region of Venezuela, leaving no infrastructure whatsoever, just like in real life. SATIRE! More games need to take advantage of this mechanic and put the improved graphics of this generation to good use. If there's going to be thousands of assets on screen at once, then let us blow them the f*** up. Come on, Crackdown 3, don't let me down on this one. 
Number 2. Climbable and more dynamic boss battles, Shadow of the Colossus. Climbing on bosses is easily one of the most badass gaming mechanics that have been implemented in recent memory. Pretty much the entirety of Shadow of the Colossus was sold on the simple fact that you could clamber around these magnificent monsters while stabbing them in the f***ing brain. A few games have implemented this mechanic though, most notably Dragon's Dogma and Monster Hunter, but it hasn't taken off in the way that you thought this would have. It makes encounters so much more memorable and let's face it, who doesn't want to grab a griffin by the tuft and ride that son of a bitch into hell? Yeah. And number one, the Nemesis system, Shadow of War. The Nemesis system is one of the most revolutionary ideas to hit gaming in recent memory. It managed to create endless amounts of fun, engaging gameplay simply by adding a little character and realism to enemies. And most of all, it's criminally underused. Now, I'm not saying that every game should rip this exact system off blow for blow, but the ideas behind it are simple enough to be at least used a little. Giving even the lesser enemies a tiny bit of personality can change the game immensely. The dynamic nature of the system is what really sells it, however. Having the world and enemies change in response to your actions is a really interesting mechanic and creates endless opportunities. And in a market where replayability is key, dynamic worlds are king. Obviously, copying this system would be, uh, what's the word, legally questionable, but the ideas behind it and the mechanics that are introduced as a result could make so many games even better. And that's our list. Got any other gaming mechanics which are criminally underused? Well, let me know about them in the comments section below. And why not swing by whatculture.com for more news and articles like this every goddamn day. As always, I've been Jules, you've been awesome, and I'll speak to you soon.